One of the most common questions I get is how do you get consistent voices? And I've found a workaround in Udio that works quite well. But first, let me give you a quick example. So I have a song here. I'm going to play a few seconds for you. And we're going to use this voice to create a whole new song. They whisper sweet lies in your ear But their intentions are sincere Behind that mask, a traitor All right, so that's the original audio, and I use that same track to create a whole new song with the same voice. I walk these streets with my head held high, never bowing down, never asking why. God. Now I will tell you it's not a foolproof method. You are going to get varying results. You just have to stay with it and be persistent. Now there are two things that you need to do. First you want to download a track with a voice that you like and it could even be a recording that you might have done. So first you want to download it via mp3 or wave. Now what I would recommend is to use BandLab's splitter so that you can isolate the vocals. And we're going to use two clips, one with instrumentals and vocals, one with with just vocals. I'm going to explain why that's important later. Now if you're not familiar with BandLab, all you have to do is click on import a new song here. You select the file and then all you have to do is click on split. It may take a few minutes depending on how busy the server is. They do give priority to paid users. And then what you want to do is click on open in studio. Then you'll see that your tracks are separated. You have your vocals, drums, bass, and others. So if I quickly play this. They whisper sweet lies in your ear, but their intentions are now I can even solo it just to hear the vocals. They whisper sweet lies in your ear, but their intentions are sincere. Now I've already cut down this clip to be only about a little over 10 seconds. Your song is going to be longer. So all you have to do is select about 10 seconds of the clip where the vocals are most prominent. And then just drag and select everything. Pick a point in the timeline where you want to split the clip. Hit S on your keyboard and it's going to split your track and then you can just delete the area that you don't need. Now I've already done that so I'm just going to undo. And then you want to go up to the menu here on the left, select under project download. If you download them as tracks, you're going to get individual files for each track. We're going to select mix down as and it's going to export everything together. And you want to download it either as a wave or MP3. Click on the download button and save it anywhere on your computer. Now we want to download just the vocals too. So you can either just delete the other tracks or you can just solo the vocals. It's really up to you. I tend to just delete it. And then we're going to select project again, download mix as, and then we're going to just save the vocals. There's a few reasons why we're doing it this way. Generally speaking, if you upload the audio with music already and the vocals, it tends to kind of keep the same feel and vibe and it almost sounds repetitive. If you clip different parts of a song that sound different, then you can get more variation. I found with uploading just the vocals, you tend to get more musical variations when it's just the vocals. I'll show you some examples after we go through the process. So the first thing you want to do is obviously upload your audio track. We're going to use the one with instrumentals and vocals. Okay, so we're going to click on this, select the track and then click on open. You just got to go ahead and confirm this. Make sure you have the rights to the audio you're uploading. And then you'll see at the top corner, the audio sample. So as always put in your prompt as you normally would. One tip I have for you, I tend to put Dolby Atmos and original master recordings in my prompt. I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but I find that when I put this in, the quality tends to sound much better. And then we're going to select manual mode. Now before we move on, we want to select crop and extend just to make sure the track is fine. So let's click on play. They whisper sweet lies in your ear, but they're yeah, sounds fine. So I'm just going to crop this to about 10 seconds. 
So we're only going to use a portion of the clip. Here's the starting point and the end point. We're going to treat this clip as the intro. So we're going to select add intro, select custom, and then paste your lyrics in here. Now what I find helpful is that with your track, it's actually okay to leave a bit of space of dead air if you want, just so you have that separation. Or you can put pause in here and then instrumental buildup so that we have a little bit of music before the vocals. And if we don't get that, we can easily fix that as well. But I would recommend also putting in your first verse, depending on how long your lyrics are. And then under advanced settings, you want to leave everything the same except for clip start. Make sure this is select on manual. We're going to put this all the way at 0% so it treats it like an intro. Generation quality, I have it at ultra. Everything else will leave the same. And I even find that if you put in instrumentals like guitar, bass guitar, drums or whatever in your main prompt, it may help to steer the generation to get it to where you want it to go. So other than that, click on extend, do a few generations just to see what you get. So I've pre-generated some examples here, but just to clarify these clips, I didn't do them as intros. I just added a section after. At this point, it doesn't matter because like I said, we can always rearrange the structure after. So I'm going to play a little bit of the original clip and we're going to listen to how the new generation sounds. Okay, here's where the new generation starts. So a little bit of an I intro. Walk these streets with my head held high, never bowing down, never asking why. Got my own path, ain't following the crowd. In this crazy world, I'm standing proud. So you see how the vocals sound very, very similar to the original clip. Let's listen to another one. Different type of groove. But I won't conform. Now while we're here, let me show you a couple examples of using just the vocals. And this is where I generated them as intros. So if I play towards the end of the track, you're going to hear the original. But their intentions are sincere. Behind that mask, a traitor lurks. Ready to strike, it'll make you hurt. So let's have a listen to the beginning. I walk these streets with my head held high Never bowing down, never asking why Got my own path, ain't following the crowd In this crazy world I walk these streets with my head held high Never bowing down, never asking why Got my own path, ain't following the crowd In this crazy world So that's one of the examples. Let's play one more. I like the groove on here. Got my own path, never asking so as you can see, you have a few options. You can use just the vocals and then Udio will generate the music for you. Although it could be stubborn sometimes. You can take parts of an existing song to influence the track as well. The only downside with that, as I said, the music tends to sound the same. So what I would do is take like choruses and bridges, parts of the song that sound different and use those clips. And if you end up creating two or three newer songs, you'll have more audio to sample out of, right? Now from this point, we're going to take one of the tracks that we like and we're going to extend it. Once again, we're going to select crop and extend and we're only going to highlight the area that we want. So obviously this part where the original track was, we want to remove. 
and we want to just keep the beginning right so we want to make sure we crop it to where the last note is and then we're basically going to do the same thing we're going to select custom this time we're going to add section and then we're going to continue it from this point so for me i would put in verse two and then maybe the first chorus and this time for clip start we can just leave it at 40 percent we don't really have to touch anything else go ahead and click extend and then you would just have to complete the song from that point. But with that being said, I can create multiple songs in the genre of pop, R&B with this particular voice. So give it a try yourself. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. And in case you're new to Udio, make sure to check out any one of these videos. Till next one, I'll see you when I see you.